1946, the Natal Indian Congress declared that June 13 would be the day the Indian passive resistance movement would begin. This was in response to the discriminatory laws that were being passed at the time. There were mass marshes, shop closures, stairways, and the occupation of municipal land. The movement was supported by the Transvaal Indian Congress and members from Cape Town. At one of the mass meetings, I.E. Lomo, a poet and playwright, said, Justice is not Indian, neither is freedom Indian. We want all people to be free. The young people in the African National Congress support the struggle of the Indians. Dr. A.B. Lomo, president of the African National Congress, pledged support of Africans for the Indian struggle at this time. The government of India also terminated trade agreement it had with South Africa and resolved to bring the matter before the United Nations. Russia in two radio broadcasts supported this idea. Later that year, on the 12th of August, the African mine workers went on strike in demand of higher wages. During the strike, there was excessive police brutality, resulting in 1,248 workers being injured and many others killed by the police. These two events, the Indian Passive Resistance Movement and the Great African Miners' Strikes are seen as the catalyst for a historical meeting that took place on the 9th of March 1947 in which three doctors got together to form an alliance that consolidated the solidarity between Indian and African people. There were Dr. Montenegro from NIC, Dr. A. B. Kuma of the ANC, Dr. Y. M. Dadu of the TIC and they signed the Joint Declaration of, of Cooperation, which has become known as the Three Doctors Pact. Their coming together was to bring together the Indians and Africans to protest against the divisive racial laws that treated people of different race groups unequally to each other and that would promote friction. The Three Doctors Pact appealed to all democratic citizens of South Africa to support fully the struggle against the various me mechanism of oppression. And members of different race groups did respond and join the battle against the apartheid. Today, the pact is seen as the precursor to the Freedom Charter that was signed in 1955. And ultimately, the constitution that came into effect in 1997. On this anniversary of the Doctors' Pact, we salute them and other heroes of all different races who were part of the struggle and who gave so much for the freedom of their country.